Te adoramos, Señor. Te adoramos, hermano, por aquí. Señor, que sea el Señor. Gloria a Dios. Con poder. Gloria a Jesús y gloria. Gloria a Dios. Vamos a orar por Dios. Amén. Aleluya. Gracias, Dios, soberano Dios, Dios, que Santo, sea tu mano, Señor Santo, glorioso, Dios, Jehová. Dios mío, derramando tu sangre en este momento, oh, Espíritu de Dios. Que todo, gloria, Señor, los que escuchan tu palabra, que sea tu Espíritu Señor, Santo, Señor, Señor, en este momento, Señor, tocando la vida, pasa tu carbón encendido, oh, que Señor, toda palabra sea, tú, sea de ti en el nombre de Jesús, Jehová. Y reprendemos todo demonio fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Dios mío, que esta predicación llegue a muchas vidas, Señor, en el mundo, y todos aquellos que se han enfriado en tu pasos, Jehová. Yo te lo pido, soberano Señor, Dios, dándote gracias, Jehová, porque tú eres el que lo está haciendo en el nombre de Jesús. Te damos gracias, soberano Dios, en tu mano estamos, Señor Jesús. Te lo pedimos, Dios. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, mi Dios. Dios te bendiga a todos. Amén. Gloria a Dios. Aleluya, santo Jehová, gloria a Dios, 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 gloria a
God is going to prepare each and one of us. Amen. Amen. Is, um, in this process and then after the process. In the process, mm -hmm. we learn, you know, how to overcome obstacles. And then Gloria when Dios. obstacles Dios. come again, we know the part of faith and trust in God. Yes. Amen. Also, um, faith is a big thing in God. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. When people were healed around when Jesus' ministry started, um, you could see how many people, when they had faith in God, how... You know, they were healed. And when we grow in God, the big things that we need to have in God is faith and trust. Because Gloria we can do something on our own. And the people who want to live the life for God and want to grow closer to God, we need to put our faith and trust in Him. No matter how long the process is. Amen. But we're going to know that we're going to have victory over it. Yes, we need Jesus. To keep our eyes on Jesus and keep focused on His work daily in, in our daily life. Gloria a Dios. And no matter what comes, no matter what comes, that we need to keep our eyes on Jesus and that remember that his, his promises that he has with each and one of us. Amen. And Amen. that no matter what the arrows of the enemy throws at us, that we have the armor of God on each and one of us and that with the word of God that we protect ourselves with the arrows. And from all problems and deceitment. Also, that... When we grow in God, not that we have more wisdom, but we have more understanding of the Word of God. Amen. And when we also take time with God, we get to know God more as our Father. Like, putting Him as our number one, the first thing you do in the morning, you pray, you read the Bible, and then you start your day. And throughout the whole day, we're supposed to be in communion with God. Amen. And these are the biggest things that the enemy tries to throw at us. Yes. To try to make us, you know, lazy so we don't read the Word or pray anymore. Or that we stop talking to God and we be consumed by um, materialistic things. Gloria a Dios. Not about God. And, I mean, and the enemy will really do this a lot now. But, brothers and sisters, we need to keep our eyes on Jesus. Yeah. And that we need to know that if we want to be grown, we need to rock, walk the process. If we're in the desert, right, and we're trying to get to our destination, how are we just going to stand there and act like we're going to get to our destination just by standing there? Amen. We're going to walk through the process to get to our destination. Yes. yes. And that's what God is telling each one of us, to come and follow me and I will give you a new life. Mm -hmm. Even that is a process. <laughs> Everything is a process. But also in the process, God says that he's with each one of us. Yes. And that he's going to give us victory in the process. Gloria a Dios. Santo. Um, God is our only hope. In the process too, mm -hmm. um, fasting, for example, nobody could do that unless it's you know by God. Amen. Because in fasting, God can only give us strength from that. Amen. And that and fasting is a great way to grow in God. Fasting, Gloria praying, Dios. and reading His Word daily. Amen. Because praying, you're talking to God one on one, and well, it depends how you pray. But if you pray from heart, you're talking to Him one on one. Yes. If you really want to grow in Him and take time with Him, praying and fasting is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Reading His Word, you will. See, God is talking to you through the word. Gloria a Dios. Fasting is a big thing because almost every human being, the big thing is eating. Yep. It's not such a big Amen. thing. Amen. To a lot of people, a big thing is eating and, you know, literally submitting it to eating. But us people, us people of God, we know that we're supposed to be submitted unto God and be feeding our, our spirit. Amen. Because Jesus also said um, the flesh gives birth to flesh life, but the spirit gives the birth to spiritual life. Amen. Amen. And um, which one do you want to have? Do you want your Do you want your flesh to be fed or do you want your spirit to be fed? Amen. Praise if God. If we want to grow in God, we need to have our, our spirit more fed in God. And the, the flesh is... As it says in the word that the flesh is um, not willing, but the spirit is, is strong. Mm -hmm. And God is going to give us strength. Amen? Amen. Um, when Jesus did the 40 day of fasting, the way how he survived through it was that he put his full faith and trust in God. Gloria a Dios. To do the same. Jesus showed us how to walk. And he said to walk <laughs> by faith and trust. One of the okay. um, temptations that the enemy gave to Jesus was to turn these stones into bread. And then, what did Jesus say? He said, that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds by God. Amen. Yes, Jesus. And that's what we need to do. We need to live by the word of God and not by the worldly things. And not by the materialistic things. Not the things of God. We need to live by the things of God. Yes. Because if we don't, then that's, that's, the, that's one of the big things that makes us fall. 
Gloria a Dios. Keep our eyes on Jesus because if we don't keep our eyes on Jesus, then you know we're, we're not gonna have victory over that problem situation. Why are we gonna grow at that? Another thing is that we also um we need to ask God for help. God says Amen. that I am here to help you, and God is also there with each and one of us. Throughout the process and then after the process. Gloria a Dios. God every single day. And every single day of our life is always going to be a process in the first battle. But the only way we can have victory over it is with God's help. Amen. And um, there's many um, times in the Bible how people need to have faith in God in order to, you know, to grow. And also not only faith, but put their trust and put him as their number one. Daniel did it. He Amen. The twenty-one day fasting. Gloria a Dios. Visions, but not only visions, but he grew more in God. Yes, Jesus. Um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They had faith in God, and they they knew what was gonna happen if they didn't, you know, bow down to that to that statue of the king. But they know who was worthy of worship. Amen. And they Amen. Keep their eyes on. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The, the king put the fire more, you know, hotter. And Seven when, degrees uh, higher. And when they threw the, the, the three men of God inside the fire, they they were, you know, worship, they were praising God and praying and all. Yes. Then there was a fourth man inside the fire, and the king yeah, himself yeah. said, it yes. looks like a God. Yes. When the three uh, men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, went outside the fire, oh. what happened? Not even their clothes were burned. Oh. Amen. Amen. Nothing was yeah. burned. And when Praise God. Our full Amen. faith and trust in God. That's what God Gloria does. Glory a Dios. Just like it says in Psalms ninety one, how he, His wings um is is our is we find brethren early and everything. They confirm the the word that God has brought. Amen. So um no matter what problems come, that we put our faith and trust in God, just Amen. like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And also like no matter what comes, we need to be like Jesus. No one could be you know God, but we can have the spirit of God in each and one of us. Yes. We can only have that by submitting more into him. Amen. And you know, this life is not easy. God lets us know, you know, but um from the start. But God does say that we're gonna that he's gonna be with each and one of us. Amen. How he's gonna walk us through the process. Amen. He's gonna teach us his word and how to grow. And during the tree grows, we just need to keep our eyes in Jesus, keep our faith in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, we just need to keep our eyes on Jesus and keep our eyes on the Word. And because it says in the Word that the devil comes like a um, a devouring lion, a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. But if we stay vigilant and stay, you know, um, seeking God continuously, we will have victory over any situation and problem. By that also we'll grow more spiritual. Gloria a Dios. Amen. Amen. God bless each one of you. Remember Jesus loves you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen.